We have visited some incredibly beautiful beaches while we've been travelling through Australia's southwest. In this episode, we see even more of this amazing coast. We visit Elephant Rocks, then Australia's best beach for 2022, and we stay at an epic beach camp that's completely free. We're Nigel and Sue, and we've spent the last two years traveling Australia in our self-converted camper van. Welcome to our adventures. We spent last night camped up at a mate's farm near Walpole. Thanks, Stewie. It's nice being camped up here. Nigel hates the flies. After a peaceful night's sleep, we left the farm and headed back to the coast. We've come today down to Elephant Rocks and Greens Pool near to Albany. And the good news is there's not too many people here. Bad news is the weather's not great. So we've come to the lookout. If you can use your imagination, it looks like a herd of elephants walking into the ocean. What do you think? Can you guys see the elephants? Nigel can. <laughs> just kind of walked around um, and along to this point for these fantastic views of the elephant rocks so we're going to take a walk down now to the main elephant rocks the sun came out we're worried about our heads getting burnt I've parted my hair but I just had to put his beanie on classic hey probably showing all my greys Surely you can see an elephant now. So we've walked around now to Green's Pool. You can actually walk around the headland past the elephants. And this is beautiful. There's people out there swimming and snorkeling and supping and... Is it freezing, Nige? Well, it's not what you thought. You're going to wipe your wetsuit. Southern Ocean. I'm actually going to want to stay out of the water. Now we're going back to the van for coffee. We've got to climb up this hill to get back up and over the headland. Embarrassing as it is, today we've gone to McDonald's. The reason being, they've just started doing potato scallops here in Australia. I love potato scallops or potato cakes. I am Victorian, I should call them potato cakes. Got to say, Maccas, they're not great. They're not the worst potato cakes I've ever had, but they're far from the best. Not every campsite is a beautiful bush camp or beach camp. Sometimes we're just in a pullover on the side of the road. Someone's even living here in a tent. This one was great because there's a mobile phone tower up there, which meant we had great reception. It's actually almost lunchtime, so we stayed here and did a bit of work this morning. So we're in Albany and we're gonna head off today. We've just gotta fill up our water tank and then we're going down to find a beach camp for tonight. So we've just arrived at this beautiful campsite at Betty's Beach. Campground was full, but the camp host found us a spot, which is awesome. We're right looking on the ocean so cool hey it's a little path here that goes down to these rocks looks like there's a nice little rock pool down there not that i'm gonna go for a swim because it's freezing and what happened to summer today's the 18th of january <laughs> that's so cold now i just got the orange shirt on which means he's going to do some work so unfortunately our new shocks that we got fitted in darwin one of them it's kind of broken not ideal that that inner part is exposed so we have to take the wheel off take some photos because it should still be under warranty we fitted them only about six months ago i haven't even done 15,000 k's yet so fingers crossed we'll be able to get it replaced under warranty 
So while Nigel is busy out there working on the underside of the van, I'm in the kitchen. So I'm making us some pumpkin and sweet potato soup for lunch. And when I make this, I actually like to put red curry paste in it. I actually don't even remember where we got this one from. Might have been in the IGA in Exmouth, but it's the Mr. Chen's red curry paste and it's plant-based, so vegan friendly. Gotta love that. I'm also going to throw in some coconut yogurt at the end just to make the soup a little bit creamier. Got to say, I've got a pretty nice view out my kitchen window today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Off Nigel. <laughs> so the last piece of the puzzle is just to throw the yogurt in and give it a bit of a whiz up with the bar mix. How good does that look? So here we are friends at our beach camp. It's really cold. We're all rugged up in the van and we're just about to settle down to dinner. I went, I went for a swim, I have you know. Really? Yeah. How was the water? That was nice. Good morning friends. It's just after 5am. I've gotten up this morning early to watch my first beach sunrise in a long, long time. So friends, we have just moved campsites. We're still on the same campground, but we've just moved sites. And now we have the best site and the most incredible ocean view. Look at this. We walked along the ridge for a while and then the trail went down a steep hill where the sand was really soft. It was tough going and then of course we thought about climbing back up. Once at the bottom we realised the track was a dead end. Nigel went into the bush where he thought he saw a little trail. Okay, so yeah that was just a toilet. We've been foiled friends. Not a bad um, wild camp, I would say. Let's get here pretty brave person to drive down that bloody hill. I'd be getting out to film, which just means I'd be too scared to be in the car while it was being driven down there. The next day we headed over to East Bay Campsite, another free camp. This one was a bit more sheltered and had a nice beach, but the campsite was basically just a car park and really crowded. Today we're in the Albany area. And I'm just, just making coffee. It's currently, it's a bit dark down there. What's going on, camera? There we go. Any troops? Kettle's on. And we've come today to check out what was appointed by Tourism Australia in 2022 as Australia's best beach. We're not there yet. The conditions aren't great today. We're currently in the van talking to you because it's blowing an absolute gale outside. So absolutely no way we can get the drone up. Hopefully there'll be a high point so we can get a decent shot of the beach. We're just around the corner from it at the moment um, in Frenchman's Bay looking over a historic whaling station, which is pretty sad. 
this Australia's best beach is called Misery Beach and apparently that's because the beach used to be covered in blood, right? Covered in blood yeah. from whales. And it's, it's, it's no longer a whaling beach. Can't imagine the sight of Red Sea It'd be pretty pretty daunting, pretty overwhelming. I don't think that I can even go into the whaling museum. I think that would be a bit too upsetting. I don't want to see those pictures. Might take a little walk down to the actual lookout and hopefully not get blown away. We we're just walking through a little bushy bit and there was some scurrying in the bush. So I'm making Nigel walk in front now. We're just coming down to this lookout and it looks back over the town of Albany and Frenchman's Bay. So that was uh, windy. <laughs> you put, put my hair out of, out of whack. <laughs> God. Get your swimmers on, girl. What? Come on, what's wrong with you? Nigel just told me I have to have a swim in this beach. Well, you know, Australia's best beach. It's gotta be done, right? He's such a meanie. It's a long walk down to this beach. I'm hoping it might be protected when we get down there. Guys, normally I'm, I would be in first, but, but we need to capture Sue's theatrics. <laughs> As she braves it. <laughs> Get on there, you big Jesse. Long time between fish and chip shop reviews, friends. It has. <clears throat> We're in Albany. We've, we've just picked up an order from Hooked on Middleton Beach. That's really good. It's WA prices, so we <laughs> we elected to go with one serving, but the serving's massive. Chip butter. So we ordered one piece of fish and chips and two potato cakes. They actually gave us two, well, they're little pieces of fish but mm. it's actually really nice and we made a chip buddy because we're on a bit of a budget at the moment but even this was like 22 bucks what are you gonna give it uh, for the fish nine out of ten the chips yeah go seven and the potato scallops which i don't normally have but i reckon they were the best potato scallops i've ever had so i'm gonna go nine and a half potato scallops so overall would be about a Eight and a half. Yeah, very good. Thumbs up for Hooked on Whittleton. Yeah, I reckon eight and a half is fair for that. Yeah, the fish was nice. Chatter scallops were good. Chips. Yeah, decent sized serving, particularly considering we only have one serving. Um, value for money was pretty good. So yeah, let's give it an eight and a half overall. Mm. Thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching this video. Join us next time when we hike and climb up to a beautiful lookout before visiting a town full of quirky sculptures and camping by the river. See you next time.